We're here at Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where just last night, Third Eye Blind trashed the GOP at an audience of their own delegates. And not live your life in fear and imposing that fear on other people. Boo! You can boo all you want, but I'm the mother artist up here. Earlier this week, Trump came out on the convention stage looking like a rock star. Only trouble is, Queen didn't give Trump permission to use the song, and even issued a cease and desist. And they're not the only stars who don't want to rock with the Republican nominee. The Rolling Stones, Twisted Sister, Neil Young, R.E.M., and even Adele all said they don't want to be associated with Trump. We're going in to talk to the VP here about Cleveland, rock and roll, and politics. So here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, are the Republicans rocking this week? Yeah, I think everybody's rocking this week. The music has this you know, incredible power to ignite passions, and that's why you see a lot of candidates using uh, rock and roll as their, as their anthem. Democrats tend to have an easier time winning over rock stars. The Clintons and Obamas both hosted major concerts with megastars ranging from Michael Jackson to Beyonce. This election, Hillary's already received singing endorsements from Katy Perry and Elton John. This is a very important year for America, and she's the only hope you have. By contrast, the most memorable performance at a Trump event came from complete unknowns. Do you think Donald Trump wants to be a rock star? Donald Trump is uh, pretty savvy in his media presentation and, and knows that music has a power to elevate the energy in a room. We're gonna win, we're gonna win so big. Trump wants to position himself as a winner and he's looking for the sound bite and the We Are the Champions gives him that. With other rock stars turning their backs on Trump, he might have to do the final tour of his campaign as a solo act. 